الله عز وجل منشن بعد أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم ألم تر كيف ضرب الله مثلا كلمة طيبة كشجرة طيبة أصلها ثابت وفرعها في السماء تؤتي أكلها كل حين بإذن ربها ويضرب الله الأمثال للناس ويضرب الله الأمثال للناس لعلهم يتذكرون. Don't you see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sitting forth explaining an example of kalimatun tayyiba beautiful kalima and very righteous statement kalimatu la ilaha illallah kalimatul iman look and pay attention to the example of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if a beautiful blessed tree now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resembling the iman as a beautiful tree asluha thabitun wa faruha fi sama that tree has deep down in the ground its roots and very strong big tree its its roots are down into the land to make it stronger wa farwaha fi sama and its branches go high up to sky a very huge tree and very strong tree it is a big that branches talk to sky and it is so down and strong in the land that the roots are going down in the land that imagine about this tree which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in surah ibrahim tu'ti ukulaha kull hain and the tree is such amazing that it gives the fruits all year long all seasons so basically it's evergreen and ever fruitful all year long you can go and eat the fruits and benefit from its green and benefit from its leaves because it provide shade it's green and it's a shajaratan tayyiba has a beautiful smell it's a beneficial tree and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said bi'idhni rabbiha and the tree becomes stronger and give the fruit with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with permission of its Lord wa yadribu Allahu al-amthala lil-nas and those type of example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention Quran la'allahum yatadhakkaroon so they can take heed they can remember and they can pay attention and learn Keep that example in your mind and look at the example of nifaq or the example of doubt, the example of kufr and rejection. On the other side, Allah said, Wa mathalu kalimatin khabithatin, kashajaratin khabitha. The example of bad sentence. The example of hypocrisy and nifaq is as if a very evil tree. Kashajaratin khabitha. As evil tree. Ujtuthat min fawq al-ard. Laysa laha min qarar. Uma laha min qarar. That tree is just hanging on the surface of the land. 
It's a very weak. Has no, you know, uh, long or tall branches. Has no fruits, no leaves, not evergreen. It's just floating on the surface, on the land. When the wind comes, it may fall down this way or that way. Laysa laha min qarar. It cannot stay still. It does not have stability. Very weak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa yuthabbitu allahu alladheena amanu bil qawli thabit. And now, Allah Azza wa Jal, He gives the strength and steadfastness to the believers with the kalima at tayyibah My dear brothers and sisters, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam mentioned one time that Iman is in your heart. The most expensive thing in our life or in the life of a believer is Iman. And then the Iman always in the heart. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives example for Iman as evergreen tree, strong tree. You know, if you take a seed and you put in the ground, of course you give the water and you, you, have, you wait for the season, then the small plant come out from the ground. And you look at it, it's very small, and then start growing. And when you give the water, you took care of the tree, it becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it become very strong and mature tree. It gives fruit. It provides peach and other type of fruit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that the example of Iman with the tree, that means when Iman comes in our heart, and then we take care of the tree, and we take care of that Iman, and let it grow. It has to grow and grow and grow. Asluha sabitun, its branches go down deep with Yaqeen and Iman. Wa sama and its branches go up high, up to sky, connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Iman must have a fruit. Iman must have evergreen and beneficial to others. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the person is not complete Muslim if he is not benefiting others. We need to take care of our tree. If we do not maintain the tree of Iman, it will go dry and, and eventually will die. We have to continuously maintain. We have to water this tree and save it from this and different type of diseases in order for tree to grow and become bigger and stronger and beneficial to others. This ayah tells us that the Iman has to have a fruit. And subhanallah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, If a person have a love of Allah, yajidu halawat al-Iman, he will, he will receive the taste of faith and Iman. So Iman has the taste. Iman has, you know, fruit. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam mentioned several different ahadith that the iman is when you benefit others. You know, if you clean the pathway, if you help a Muslim brother, this is the alama of iman and faith in your heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. Dear brothers and sisters, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam mentioned that Iman is in our heart. That means heart has to be watched carefully. The place of faith and Iman has to be connected with Allah and has to be alive. Otherwise the tree cannot go deep 
and cannot be a stronger and bigger and fruitful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave example of doubt, selfishness, and example of kufr, or kalimatun khabitha, with a tree, it is a tree, but is not a still, is not stronger. It does not have stability at all. And as if the tree, you know, on the form of the, the, the water, or is, you know, sitting on the surface. When the wind comes, it moves with the wind, and it dies out quickly. When the Iman is not stronger in our heart, so sometime from this uh, benefit, people move this way, or that benefit, people move that way. They get scared to announce their identity. Sometimes people, they lose the value of faith and Iman. And Iman is just, you know, shaking and hanging. A person can sell their faith and Iman with one second. They change their names, they hide their faith, and they show as if they are not Muslim. But when Iman becomes stronger, and the tree becomes very heavy and deep down on the land, in the heart, then the person's Iman and faith become unshakable. And the tree becomes fruitful to others. When you have a fruit, people can buy, people can get, and they can eat, and it's a, give, provide a shade. And evergreen tree provide shade. And so many other benefit of the tree. On the other hand, when we lose the value of Iman and faith in our heart, you know, then we start beginning as selfish life. No benefit to others. A person always look at into his own self and do not provide fruits to anyone else. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make a dua and say, Allahumma allimni ilman nafi'an wa amalan mutaqabbalan wa rizqan tayyiban wa shifa'a min kulli da. Oh Allah, I ask you beneficial knowledge. On the same time, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to seek refuge in Allah from the knowledge which has no benefit to others. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa' wa min du'a'in la yustijabula wa min qalbin la yaksha' aw kama qala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he used to seek refuge in Allah from the knowledge which is not beneficial. My dear brothers and sisters, Iman is that you, that you take advantage of your faith yourself and give a benefit to yourself and benefit to your Muslim brother. And that's why Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, when they join the Islamic community, the way they join, they say, Bayana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nusr likulli Muslim. We took the pledge of Islam that we're going to advise every Muslim the best of our knowledge. You know? Advice. Ad-deenu nasiha The entire deen and the entire sharia is the advice to one another. And it's a very strong, you know, circle. Qila liman ya Rasulullah qala lillahi Wali Rasulihi, Wali Kitabihi, Wali Aimatil Muslimin, Wa Amatihim. Nobody left behind. So, when Iman is working, when we take care of our faith in our heart, then we check every day, we maintain our faith, and we look every day that do I am benefiting others? Is my Iman is helping someone else? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, do something for your Muslim brother. If you do not have anything, at least smile. 
السلام علیکم دعا If you do not have anything, at least you sleep with no, you know, hate toward your Muslim brother in your heart. Sleep with clean heart. Hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Asin, Sahih Muslim, is a long hadith. But when we have clean heart and we sleep with clean heart, that at least we can do for somebody else. That means, as a Muslim, we have to do something for others. Then the Iman become stronger. And look at the size of the tree. One may be have a smaller tree than the others. And one tree may give less food than the others. So you always try and work hard to make the tree of Iman stronger and bigger and more fruitful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. And finally, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran, in Surah Al-Hujrat, and he said about people, they accepted Islam and they joined Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een, and the next hour they start claiming as if they become believer or they become pious. And they say, Amanna. We become a believer. Because claiming Iman, it means a lot. It means that you already have the tree, stronger tree in your heart. And you just accepted Islam an hour ago. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, aslamna. <laughs> وَلَمَّا يَبْلُغَ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ Oh people, do not hurry, do not rush to claim about your faith and Iman because the faith does not reach yet to the depth of your hearts. Your heart is still empty. Yes, you accepted Islam. وَقُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا You may claim your Islam and you yet start working about your faith and Iman, and let it grow, and let it become beneficial to others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our heart clean and full of faith and Iman. Dear brothers and sisters, let us make a dua that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe from all the strong winds against the tree of Iman which shaitan brings in the shape of temptations. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and all the Muslims to stay steadfast on their faith and iman. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'il muslimin wa akhru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.